Hello there. In this video, we're going to go over the process on how you can integrate timelines with Monday. Before we get started, it's important to mention that this integration requires you to be the owner or an admin within the Timelines AI workspace. Also, you must have admin rights within the Monday workspace that you're going to be working with. Once you have uh, confirmed that, we can get started by uh, going to the integration section on Timelines and clicking on Monday integration, which is this one here. Once you do so, you're going to see these two options, and we're going to start with the first step. In this step, you're going to install Timelines AI app on Monday. So we select the specific workspace that we would like to work with. In my case, it will be the main workspace. And then we click on install, which is here. You will see that on Monday, the, the Timelines application will be available and installed as expected. Now we can go back to Timelines and click on the second step, which uh, this step is needed to authorize Timelines to have access to the following details that you see here. You click on Authorize. And that's it. Here we can confirm that we have established a connection between Timelines and Monday. So the next step here will be to go uh, to Monday and then within the workspace that you have selected, in my case, the main workspace, we're going to select the board where you're gonna be synchronizing your contacts uh, from WhatsApp. As you can see here in this uh, particular board, I have uh, these groups. So uh, before we can actually proceed with the, the other or the rest of the details that we have to configure, it's important that you create two columns here. The first one will be used to capture the contact's phone numbers. So we select phone. But remember that this column can be named differently, like, for example, uh, contact's phone numbers or your client's phone numbers, et cetera. What matters here is that this column can be easily identified, so you can actually put phone numbers that belong to your contacts here. Then we're going to create another column, which will be used to capture links. We're going to uh, rearrange this a little bit here. And now that we are, uh, well, that we have these two columns, we can proceed with the next steps here. So. I'm just going to refresh this page. And in this case, we're going to proceed with the templates that will help you create contacts here on Monday. So to do that particular process, you click on Integrate. And then we search for Timelines AI. You will see three groups here. We're going to work with the WhatsApp chats timelines. We click on it, and then we select the second recipe or template that you see here. So whenever you get new incoming chats on WhatsApp, you will be able to create an item or contact within Monday. We click on WhatsApp account number, and you will have two options here. The first one is to select the specific WhatsApp account that you would like to use. So whenever you get new incoming messages from that WhatsApp account, or in that WhatsApp account, you can create or you can trigger this particular um, automation. The other one is to select any in case you have multiple WhatsApp accounts connected within your Timelines AI workspace and you want this automation to work for all those accounts. That's completely optional. Then we click on item and you will see that we have the list or the columns that we have in the board available in this section. And we just have to map them with the variables that we have synchronized on Monday, thanks to the integration that we have. So we're going to select for the column that's uh, called name. 
we're going to use name here as well. The phone column will receive phone numbers. And lastly, the link column will receive chat links. Chat links are basically the chat links that will be attached to conversations that we have synchronized on timelines. So whenever you click on that link, you can be redirected to that particular conversation that you can uh, review on timelines specifically. Once we have set all uh, this particular uh, fields, we can just click on done, and then we click on create automation. You'll see that Monday will automatically enable this for us. So we can just close this. And now we're going to be testing and confirming that this is working as expected. To do so, I will have someone send me a new WhatsApp message so we can test this automation. So we're going to refresh the page here. And in this case, you can see that we have received that new contact. We got the, the contact's name here. Okay, this is the name that we have assigned to this contact on WhatsApp. And we captured that name. But we also have the phone number in international format, the same format that WhatsApp uses. And also we have the chat link on timelines. So if I click on this particular link, I will be taken to that specific conversation. As you can see here, I can see that on timelines. 